All right, what's up, you guys? You probably can't hear me because it's super windy. Before we get started, I just wanted to say, really appreciate the 200 plus views on the WRX video. Let's see if we can shoot for maybe like, I don't know, 400 or something plus on this one. And also, don't forget to subscribe because that totally helps out too. What I have for you guys today is a 2020 Subaru Crosstrek. This one's the base model, six-speed manual. Um, I will show you the CVT option as well later in the video, but I figured this one really popped out and it would just kind of be a nice color for the video, so let's dive right into it. But it is still that same two liter boxer four, except you've got a little bit less horsepower. You got 152 and then 145 pound feet of torque. The zero to 60 isn't exactly the fastest, but I mean, you know, if you're buying a cross track, you're not exactly looking to do a quarter mile. So zero to 60 on this is about nine seconds. But the good thing with this is you'll get 27 miles to the gallon in the city and then about 30, 33 on the highway. And you got a 16 gallon fuel tank. So that's pretty good. I wish they would have added was the uh, hood struts instead of the uh, prop rod. I feel like just having that on here would be a little bit more convenient. But nonetheless, it is still a beautiful engine bay to look at just because you can literally see everything. For me as an enthusiast, it's just, I really appreciate that. So, good on you. Like I said guys, this one is the base model. So we've got our 17 inch wheels in the front and back. And then in the front we've got our, I think it's 11.6 inch ventilated front rotors. And then in the back over here, it's 10.8 inch solid rotors. Dual piston calipers in the front, single piston in the rear, you know how it is. Every Subaru's got that double wishbone rear suspension. Let me just take a second to kind of step back and look at it one more time. When you really look at it, it is honestly just a lifted Impreza wagon. The one thing that I kind of wish they would have continued with is the body side cladding over here. I feel like they should have just definitely connected that down here, but no big deal. All right, so now I'm inside and I'm glad because it's really, really cold and you probably couldn't even hear me. But once you hop inside, you'll notice that you've got a lot of orange stitching and I think it looks... You've also got these kind of, not necessarily race inspired seats, but I think they look kind of racy. This texturized piece in the middle just looks really good and kind of ties it all together. So this one in particular has the all weather package. So we've got our heated front seats. We've also got the all weather floor mats, both over here and on the passenger side. This one, like I said, is a six-speed manual. Now you don't get an option of a short throw shifter or anything, but honestly, you don't really need one because it feels really good just the way it is. And also, as far as clutch feel goes, it's very, very smooth engagement. So coming around the door panel here, you got some carbon fiber bits, which it's not, it's not real carbon fiber, it's just wrapped, which I wish they would have kind of kept that, you know, gloss black. It would have looked a little bit neater to me. But nonetheless, they still tried and it looks really good still. And then moving on, we've got our head unit over here, which is Starlink. I believe this is the 6.5 inch screen. So you've got your radio button, the phone button, and this is an apps button to go ahead and move around here. And then moving up here, we've just got a clock with the temperature outside and showing us that we are completely out of gas. All right, so now I'm in the back and I hope you guys can kind of see okay, but I've got a really good amount of headroom and legroom, and I'm a pretty tall guy, I feel like. Five, five, nine, I think I said in the last. I have the seating position in my driving position, and I'm about six feet tall, so I'm not, I'm not a short guy. Video around there. Um, you don't get any cup holders or headrest or armrest or anything back here, unfortunately. But what you do get is those 60-40 rear folding seats. And so you just go ahead and you pull the knobs down up here. Pretty easy, actually. And it'll come right down, access in the back, you got more space now. Now I'm gonna go ahead and open up the trunk and show you how much cargo space you got. So this one is actually a manual latch, you gotta pull it all the way up, fortunately. However, you can't see because this box is in the way. The amount of space back here I feel like is like suburban SUV size. And you've also got this privacy cover, you know. Oh. In case you ever go to the store or something and you put groceries in there, you don't want people looking through your trunk seeing what you got. That's pretty cool too. Like every other car nowadays, you do also have your backup camera right there. Now, you guys obviously know that I like sports cars. fast cars and all that stuff I would totally get a cross track because number one it's super versatile it's got a manual transmission it's a Subaru and it's just got really beautiful body styling I mean I feel like for an SUV this definitely gives me a lot more you know car vibes than it does big burly SUV so I just think it's really cool that Subaru came out with something kind of compact and nice like this 
All right, so you know, you guys know the deal. I'm gonna do a couple driving clips for you to kind of explain the feeling of the car. This one's not boosted or anything, so. That car is boosted though. Um, yeah, like I said, this car is not boosted or anything, so there's not gonna be any zero to 60. I'm kind of just gonna go around a lot to kind of explain the feeling of how the car is. Just taking off, like I said, it was super duper easy. You didn't even have to think about it. And then going from gear to gear, again, it's just super duper simple. Like, it's like a knife through butter. It's like, as I'm going through these gears, I'm not really thinking much about what's happening down here. I'm just doing it. Going around corners too, definitely feels really good. Um, it feels very nimble, but I do wish that it was a little bit more responsive, I'm not gonna lie. And then we'll go ahead and do a little uphill pull. Turn in, brakes, there we go. And we'll pull into a spot right here. I feel like the Crosstrek is definitely one of those cars that I would want my girlfriend in or one of those cars that I would definitely be in if I wanted something really, really, really reliable. There we go. Now you may be asking yourself, wow, Jacob, are you trying to get a cross track? No. I just think that the cross track is a really versatile car that kind of gets slept on a little bit. It's got decent power for what it is, and it looks cool. It's got, I think, like a 34.7 turn in radius. I will correct myself if I'm wrong, but it's pretty nimble. Uphill launch brakes turn in good response really good response I love it sorry if my thoughts were kind of scattered typically when I drive I get a little bit too excited and I can't exactly formulate words but what I was trying to say is it's a car that if my girlfriend asked me to pick something out for her I'd pick this for her. it looks really nice it shifts really good the CVT also works really well I'll show a couple clips of that and in this, you actually get the X mode, which once you press that, ooh. oh, hold on, there we go. Once you press X mode, it'll say X mode activated. And then if you press it again, it'll show you your SI drive and the buttons for that actually are right here, if it'll focus. So you don't have sport sharp, you actually just have sport and then intelligent. And then default for this is always gonna be intelligent. So if you want that more responsive throttle feel, you're gonna have to press sport. So like I did before, I'll just do a couple turns and everything for you guys. For simulated gears, they feel really, really good. And then now I'm gonna go ahead and put it into sport mode. There we go. And then we'll see if that makes any difference at all in the throttle response. Turn, turn, brakes. And yes, I do feel a little bit of a difference, nothing too, too crazy, but it just makes the throttle response a little bit more, more, uh, more, more gutty, if that makes sense. Um, it's all around just a really nice, well-rounded car. I'm sorry, crossover. But that actually kind of sums it up. I went over just about everything I could. Um, Maybe one day, if you guys want, I'll go over like other trim models and everything. Where am I going? But thank you for watching. Um, please make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And do me a favor, really subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. It helps out a lot. Um, and that way I can keep doing more videos like this. But thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. Definitely subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.